Yes, ma'am. We are looking mighty cute today. Okay. I'm trying to keep my armpits down though a little bit because I ain't shaved my armpits before I put on this shirt. Okay. So let me keep my arms down. Good afternoon. That was ugly. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It is me, your girl, your sister, your best friend, Chloe Yasmin, the hygiene queen. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my super simple tips on how I stay fresh all day in day on my menstrual cycle. We are strictly going to be talking about our downstairs area today. We ain't talking about no lotions and perfumes. We are talking about strictly our downstairs area and how we can stay fresh downstairs on our menstrual cycle. Even if you're working out, even if you have a crazy active job, Job. girl all of that because we all know when you're a little bit more active the smells be a little bit more active too and since I did start recently working out I did notice a very big difference in odor downstairs on my menstrual cycle and girl I had to correct that real fast ain't nobody not me not you not her not her we ain't trying to walk out this dang stall and be worried about if somebody is getting ready to walk in behind us and smell our odor okay no so I'm gonna be helping out my sisters today let me drink some water y'all my mouth is so dry I can barely move it girl I could say it ain't no joke. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so girl, enough talking. Let's go ahead and hop into how I smell super fresh downstairs on my menstrual cycle. Let's get the basics out of the way. Drink tons of water. Drinking a lot of water will seriously improve the smell of the blood downstairs. Your blood can have an odor in itself if you're not drinking enough water. And I'm telling you because I'm not. When I'm not up on my water and it's my menstrual cycle, my blood comes out a little bit darker and it also smells a lot worse. But when I'm up on my water, it don't have a smell. So drinking a lot of water is very important, especially if you sweat a lot because your sweat can also have a nasty smell if you're not drinking enough water. I ain't judging nobody. So for all my sisters out there that do drink alcohol, when you're drinking, make sure that you're also drinking water while you're drinking because you're just dehydrating yourself. And no, I don't drink, but I can tell you from speaking to a lot of my family members that when you're drinking and you're not drinking water, you're just dehydrated and odors start to produce. Water, 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 water. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then the other basic that we're gonna go ahead and get out of the way is showering daily of course we want to go ahead and cleanse our lady bits every single day personally on my menstrual cycle I like to go ahead and cleanse my lady bits twice a day just to keep up and to make sure that odor is not producing during the night so I take a shower in the morning time and also at night time so in the morning time there's no crazy odor so those are the basic drinking tons of water and also showering every single day I will be covering my updated feminine hygiene routine coming up soon so go ahead and look out for that but as for right now we're we're going over our tips and tricks. I always, always, always apply this even if I'm not on my menstrual cycle. This is a staple in my every single day hygiene routine. This is a intimate oil blend. The reason why I use this is because it has a very natural but amazing smell to it. When I tell y'all I love the scent of this, it smells like oranges, eucalyptus, lemon. I feel like I smell lavender, but I don't see that on the ingredients. Girl, it is so beautiful. So not only do I use this on my menstrual cycle, girl, I use it on a daily. This really helps with odors downstairs. There are so many other benefits that I did mention on my freshen up routine, but y'all, this stuff keeps a sister fresh and smelling good downstairs all day. It has a very nice natural essential oil kind of smell. It's beautiful. It's non-irritating. It's actually very soothing. I love this stuff so much and this adds fragrance downstairs and no matter what you will smell like this. And no, you do not have to be shaved up to use this product. I actually really do suggest it to my girls that do not like to shave because this can be applied all to your pubic hairs which can hold odor. And girl, It'll have you smelling right. I'm not playing. So girl, get you some of this. Apply this to your lady bits. Not the actual hole, but everywhere else. And you will smell so beautiful downstairs. I'm going to go ahead and put the link to this product down below. As well as my Amazon storefront. Because it is on my Amazon storefront. This right here, I don't think I've ever talked about. But girl, I love it. This is my third bottle of this muffin mist. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my Amazon storefront as well. Girl, on your menstrual cycle, 
you need it. I spray this on my pad or my panty liner, not a tampon, girl no, but your pad or your panty liner. Your pad and your panty liners can hold a lot of odor from sweat, from blood, girl, all of that. This right here, no. No. This is the Elevated Body Care Lavender Muffin Mist. They call this the Muffin Mist. Now they do have a unscented one. They have, which I don't really understand the point of. They have a lavender one. They have a ylang ylang one. And they also have a rose vanilla. Blah. Ugh. I had to give it to my brothers when I bought it because the girl now. And yes, males can use the Intimus Oil as well as Muffin Mist. I actually crazy suggest it to men because they be needing it too. So if you're a male and you watch this, you can use this too. I'm not playing. Anyways, like I was saying, this is the Elevated Body Care Lavender Muffin Mist. I like the lavender because something about lavender and odor, lavender helps with odor. Anything lavender I get for my dogs, it just masks all dog smell. And this masks all odor that could possibly happen on my menstrual cycle. So like I was saying, if I'm wearing a pad or a panty liner for my tampon, I go ahead and spray this on my pad. Matter of fact, I went to Dollar General today so I could go ahead and stock back up on some um, products. So I'll go ahead and open up a pad and show y'all how I do it. I just got some cheap little Dollar General pads because I be spending so much money on menstrual cycle products and I'm like, girl, for what? These work the exact same. The little cheap knockoff dollar store ones. I don't be noticing the difference. Maybe that's just me though, so. Anyways, so I always get the wing kind because I like for them to stay. But you get your little pad, right? I shake it. I spray about four sprays. Girl. Your pad will smell like this for the full three to four hours you have it on. Because another tip is change your pad every three to four hours. There have been times where I had to change it in the first hour because of how heavy my flow is in the beginning. However you feel you need to change your pad, change it. If it's starting to produce odor before the third or fourth hour mark, change it. There's no need to keep it on there because the odor is only going to build and become stronger. So I wipe it away before it even can. I get rid of it so I'm fresh and clean. So that right there, spring that on your pad or your paint liner. Oh my gosh, you'll pull down your, your underwear and your pants and smell straight lavender and intimus. I'm not kidding, with no irritation. Walking out the stall feeling like, please go in behind me, please go in behind me. But not only do I spray it on my pad, I also clean myself with it. This is also a cleanser. This right here works as a soothing product, a freshening product, a cooling product, and a cleansing product. For me, it's freshening and cleansing because I wipe up all the time on my menstrual cycle. Every single time I change my pad or my tampon, I wipe up. So this right here, let me tell you, using this product with a wipe, oh my gosh, girl, it really cleans you. So. I get me a wipe. I just got these super cheap little dollar and like 25 cent softly scented baby wipes at the dollar store. You can go to Dollar Tree and get you some wipes, girl. I also love the Summer's Eve ones, the Summer's Eve fragrance free wipes. Y'all know how I feel about those. But I wanna go ahead and show you guys a cheaper alternative that works very well. So you go ahead, you get your little wipe. Okay, I get my little wipe. That's that cheap stuff, yeah. Anyway, I get my little wipe out and these are like coated in product. What the heck? I forgot how good baby wipes are. I shake it once again. I spray about five to six sprays, okay? And then I be on the toilet and I clean myself. Make sure you always wash your hands before you do so. A tip for if you work out in the gym, I notice this a lot. A lot of girls will come in from working out and go straight into the bathroom and wipe themselves. I'm not saying that your hands are touching your downstairs area, but just in case, Always wash your hands before you wipe your downstairs area. Always wipe your hand or wash your hands before you use the restroom. So now that we know that, wash your hands. Then go ahead and put this on a wipe and wipe yourself, wipe yourself, wipe yourself, wipe yourself, wipe yourself until you feel that you're clean. You're gonna smell like straight lavender downstairs without any irritation. Now, I usually use a paper towel to go ahead and dry myself downstairs, like I'll pat, pat, pat and dry myself downstairs. But I actually like for this product to stay downstairs, so it's up to you. But I actually love the smell of this product, so I will blow or fan downstairs. You can even use like a Chinese fan, an eyelash fan. You can use any fan or you can blow or fan with your hands just to go ahead and dry up that product downstairs because moisture does produce odor and also being too dry downstairs can be irritating so that's freshening up with that wipe you can go ahead and reapply your intimus reapply that oil and respray your pad with the 
muffin mist. These are gonna keep you fresh all day, no matter what. I also do wanna say, I used to disagree with this, but it's actually very true. Tampons do keep you a little fresher because the blood's not just sitting there. Personally, girl, I love pads. I go through pads like this. I use pads more than tampons, but tampons do keep you fresher because the blood's not just sitting there, you know? So I will say that I was very uncomfortable using tampons up until a certain age. So I say if you're uncomfortable or if your parents say no, don't worry about it, girl. It's very much so possible to smell good without tampons. But I will say that tampons do keep you a little bit fresher. I have a very heavy flow, so I have to use a pad in a tampon in the beginning of my cycle. Girl, I hope I'm not missing nothing because I went through these tips very fast. Anyway, last but not least, I'm sure y'all like, girl, what is you talking about perfume oil? Are you crazy? What you been smoking? Be for real about what's in your cup right now. It's just lemon water, okay? Stop playing with me. I'm serious. Perfume oil. Perfume oil in between your thighs. I always go ahead and apply a nice, strong smelling lotion all to my legs and butt area because when I go to pull down my um, underwear and pants in public, I love for there to be a nice, beautiful aroma coming from me, okay? But not only that, perfume oil. When I, I am not kidding. So right now my top fave is black coconut. You can buy all of these at Whole Foods. Right now my favorite is black coconut by Kumba Made. These are so strong, I'm not kidding. Oh my freaking gosh. That's my top fave. I also have Egyptian Musk. I'm pretty sure we all know what this smells like. And this is by Kumba Made as well. And then I also have Vanilla Musk by Nimat. I have been getting blessed left and right. I get up to the counter the other day at Whole Foods and the lady is like, we cannot find the barcode scanner for this product. She was calling her manager, calling everybody. They could not find it. She was like, it's on the house today. Don't worry about it, girl. It's on the house. I'm like, I've been getting blessed so much. If you watch my, I spent a thousand dollars on hygiene video, you know that I got blessed with, an, with a $140 perfume for $14. So yeah, this is the vanilla musk. Girl, these will change your life. I get some perfume oil. It kind of leaked on my hand, so we're gonna use it. I get some perfume oil and I put it in between my thighs. With the roller balls, you can just roll it in between your thighs and then like put your thighs back and forth and just let it kind of like do its thing or you can tap it back and forth. Um, and then with this, you can pour it and then you can tap it in between your thighs. Don't rub, just pat and tap it in between your thighs. Oh my gosh. Screw perfume at this point. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The lighting is changing so much. But when I tell you these perfume oils are so strong, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. If I had to suggest out of these three, I would say get Vanilla Musk by Nima and then Black Coconut because Egyptian Musk is not for everybody. But it's for me, baby. It's for me. I love Egyptian Musk. Girl, you put these on your wrist, on all your little post points. I put them behind my ears, on my neck, between my thighs, on my wrist right here behind my knee girl they be having a sister smelling right and strong they just go nowhere unless you're washing your hands and you're washing your wrist it will go away and the hotter you get like the warmer your body gets the stronger the fragrance becomes it's crazy that's why i love them for working out because the more your body warms up the stronger that smell comes out it just projects like crazy so you put some of these perfume oils in between your thighs Girl, you gonna be smelling like a bottle of perfume. So those are all my simple but amazing tips on how I smell super fresh and beautiful on my menstrual cycle all day. If you try these tips, girl, you will not go back. These are the best tips to smell great on your menstrual cycle because there's no reason why we should have to not smell as good and as fresh on our menstrual cycles. Girl, screw that. I don't care if I take a little extra work, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. So. Those are my tips, they work for me, and I'm pretty sure they will work for you. Please try them out. Let me know how y'all feel about them. I love every single one of you guys, and I really hope you guys try these dang tips out, cause girl, they the bomb. I love you, God bless you, and it's time for your girl to go. God bless you guys in Jesus' name, amen. And it's time for your girl to go, bye.